Hi everyone, welcome back to RJK English. I want to explain how to tell when something probably won't happen, especially when you're comparing something. I had a student that was saying to me that family is the most important thing in your life. And he wanted to explain why he's saying this. And what he wanted to say was that you can have friends, but when you have hard times, those friends might not help you. So the people that you have lunch with at school or lunch with at work or that you go out and have drinks with, they often are not doing anything more for you on the side. They're, they just want to have fun with you, but when you need something, they might not help. So I helped him to explain this by using this won't necessarily, won't necessarily. This is very useful. So family is the most important thing in your life. Friends are great to have, but they won't necessarily be there for you in hard times. They won't necessarily be there. What does won't necessarily mean? This kind of means it's not sure that they will be, and it's probable that they will not be. It's kind of between that maybe and I'm pretty sure. You're basically pretty sure that this won't happen. So how do we use won't necessarily? Okay, let's say that I am studying for a test and I think I will wait until the night before I have the test and just study all night and I'll just cram it into my head and then I'll remember it in the test. And your friend says, it's better to study a little bit every day. It can work sometimes. I mean, it's good that you would study all night before a test, but you won't necessarily remember things by studying just right before the test. Studying all night before a test won't necessarily help you to uh, pass the test. Notice I say won't necessarily, meaning it probably won't help you to pass. It's better to do something else. Think about how can you use this in a sentence when you are trying to explain why something probably is not beneficial to you. You could just listen to the videos and not subscribe, but that won't necessarily help you to really learn English. It's probably better to subscribe and learn with each video. All right, I hope this was helpful. See you next time. Hi everyone, welcome to RJK English. Make sure to like and subscribe and that will help me make more of these videos. I'm on YouTube and on Instagram and see us on Facebook and we can talk further.